Welcome to the lecture, business people. Business people and business visitors are not the same. Business people come to do business under a free trade agreement. Business people can enter and work in Canada if they qualify under one of these agreements, the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, and the new version. Other free trade agreements and the General Agreement of Trade in Services, GATS. Let's take a look at these agreements. So we are here in the website of the International Mobility Program, International Free Trade Agreements, and here the website have information about this when it comes to the International Free Trade Agreements. It said that it contain provisions to facilitate on a reciprocal basis because our these are trade agreements, the temporary entry for business people, eligible people or persons entering the, under the FTA will generally require a work permit but are exempt from a labor market impact assessment. So the people, business people that participate under this free trade agreement will be able to enter Canada on a reciprocal basis and normally will get a work permit but the work permit won't require, it will be exempt from a labor market impact assessment. Okay, so the Chile, Peru, Colombia, and Korea free trade agreement uh, on this page contains similar provisions like the North American free trade uh, free trade agreement, the NAFTA. Basically, it grants temporary entry to four categories of business people: business visitors, professionals, intra-company transferees, and trade and investors. Okay. And there's a uh, slightly different between them, but they mostly follow the same pattern, okay? The new Canada European Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, the CETA, also contains provisions which grant temporary entry to business visitors, professionals, intra companies, transferees, and investors. These entry requirements are uh, significantly different from some categories, however, the same LMIA exemption codes are used. So keep that in mind. In the European Canada Agreement, this song is slightly different, but it's follow the same uh, structure. And the LMIA extension core are, are the same in this case, okay? And under the General Agreement of Trade Services GATS, professionals are authorized to enter on their extension codes T33 for professionals. And the intra-company transferee are authorized under C12. So these are the codes that they use for that kind of uh, professionals under this agreement. And here we have finally the list of all the agreement with their codes. So North American tra uh, Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, is T21, 22, 23, and 24. The Canada, Chile, the Canada, Peru, Canada, Colombia, and Canada, Korea. They have the T21, 22, 23, and 24 and 25 for Colombian and Korean spouses. The Canada European Union Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, the CETA. Uh, for business visitors, they have the T43, to a T44, T46, T47, and T45 for spouses of intra-company transfer. General Agreement on uh, the GST, T33 and C12. Over this provision, and then you have the part of the uh, immigration refugee protection regulations uh, that mentioned those those agreement there and the Canada Panama Free Trade tra Agreement T23 again following the regulations 186 and 205A and finally the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership thus use the paragraph 186A and 187 of the regulations and they have the code T50, T51, T52, and T53 for spouses. So these are the information about the agreement. Um, you will need to look into more details depending on what part of the world you live in. And if your country have an agreement with Canada, and it amongst those agreements, okay? So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you in the next lecture.